finally we're in the you know the pilot we've you know the construction phase of it and developing the website and the processes in the back end of the system building out the uh, fiber hut where all these fiber connections are back to the electronics and back end systems that's the work we've been doing over the last um, since october now we're ready to start signing up customers and doing the connections to the home then what we're going to hopefully you know learn out of this is what the um, interest is and demand in those areas what the construction costs are to to build out these uh, connection lines so the way that the billing works is you'll sign up for service you'll have a thirty dollar per month infrastructure fee that's going to come on your regular utilities bill so your you know power bill water sewer trash the city has a consolidated bill if you sign up for fiber service you'll have a thirty dollar charge for the fiber connection and then you'll also have a separate bill that'll come from one of those four providers. Currently we have um, Direct Communications, QuickNet, Silver Star Communications, and Sumo. We're gonna you know, keep offering service indefinitely in these areas. Uh, the pilot side of it is so we can gather up the data to see if it makes sense to expand this citywide. Probably the biggest thing is people that are curious about if they're in the fiber pilot area or not, we can go to the website, we have an interactive map there, they can type in their address and it'll, it'll show them whether they have the service available or not. If they do, they can easily sign up all through the website and it's idahofallsfiber.com.